Greetings, this is Minister Joshua Wright, a.k.a. The Gospel Jukebox, and welcome to Weekly Manor from Heaven. We're on week 48, you guys. Yes, it's been 48 weeks going strong, and I'm just thanking and praising God for this platform. I pray that you're encouraged. I pray that you're enlightened. I pray that you are getting fed, and I pray that you are just encouraged each and every day. Now, Weekly Matter from Heaven is a platform where I just share the good news of Jesus Christ. I go into the Old Testament, I go into the New Testament, and I just interpret what the Holy Spirit gives me. Um, You can go, usually I post Weekly Matter from Heaven every Sunday on my website at www.gjbinc83.com. If you want to catch old episodes, you missed the episode, and things of that sort, you can go to my YouTube channel type GJB Inc. 83 all one word make sure to like, comment and subscribe, let a brother know how he's doing and things of that sort Uh, constructive criticism your comments are warranted, they are welcomed now I have uh, my merchandise store usually when you watch my videos you see uh, my logo disintegrates into a million pieces, well I have shirts I have masks, they have masks I have koozies, I have hoodies I have jackets um, all kind of different things, sweatshirts and different things of that sort and I've added new colors like I have now I have red, purple, and blue with the uh, regular colors on, um, black, white, and gray so be supportive of a brother, go on there and purchase things, you can find that that merchandise store at www.storefrontier.com slash gjbinc83 again that's www.storefrontier.com slash gjbinc83 also I'm happy to announce that I have a clothing line called the King's Heart Apparel I have clothes for men women, kids, even your dogs I have shoes, I have purses I have dresses, I have jackets I have workout attire the shoes. People are raving about the shoes. I was at a rest at my my nanny's birthday uh, dinner last night, and they had a group that was sitting next to us, a table sitting next to us. And I walked in, I sat down, and they looked at my shoes and said, "Oh, those are really nice." They said, "Did you design that yourself?" And I said, "Yes." And I got I got some business there. I gave them my business card. I'm always going places with my business card. I gave them business cards, and now I got. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna have some new clients. So if you want to check out all the amazing things that I've designed in my clothing line store, you can go to uh, akheart.kincustom.com. Again, that's akheart.kincustom, K-I-N-C-U-S-T-O-M.com. Go in there, be a patron, purchase some things, I promise you. The clothes, the shoes are of good quality. The shoes, they're so comfortable. Like It's like walking on a cloud. So my shoes are very comfortable. So be supportive of a brother. And go and shop at a King's Heart Apparel. Go ahead and get yourself crowned like the royalty that you are. Um, also, I'm on all social media platforms. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. So if you want fast access to find me, then you go to my official website, and at the bottom of each page page of my website, I have all the icon, all the social media icons. So you click on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and it's going to direct you to all my pages, and you go and follow me and, and, and subscribe and like. So you'll see everything that's GJB, that's what I'm doing, and things of, of that sort. Okay. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, first of all, God, we just thank you, God, for being God all by yourself. Father, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, who hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cross, that we have the right to the tree of life, and brought a man back into fellowship with you, Father. And Father, for that, we want to say thank you. Father, we thank you for last night. Rest, early morning rise, operation on online limbs and ligaments, giving us a mind to continue to serve you, function on a daily basis, letting us see a brand new day that we've never seen before, Father. Father, I ask you to forgive us for conscious sins, subconscious sins, and unconscious sins, Father. Anything that's not of you, God, I ask you to burn it up right now, Father. Give us clean hands and a pure heart and renew in us a right and obedient and clean spirit, Father. Father, we ask you just to take our hearts and mold it like yours. Take our minds and transform it like yours. And take our will, Father, and conform it to your will. We're going to continue to say yes to your will and yes to your way. Because, Father, we know that you're not going to steer us wrong. Father, this 
We just thank you, Father, that this is the day, Lord, that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because we're alive. Somebody didn't wake up this morning, Father. And, Father, for that, Father, we want to say thank you. Now, Father, the nation right now is celebrating here in the United States Independence Day, July 4th. Father, in the message that I'm getting ready to preach, we just thank you for our freedom in you. And we celebrate our freedom in you, Lord, each and every day, Father. Father, actually, just to touch each and every viewer, person that's attached to me, um, bless them according to your riches and glory, Father. Whatever they stand in the need of a blessing, Father, I ask you to meet the need. Meet the need of all your people, Father. Father, especially meet the needs of the people that are tuning in. Um, to weekly matter from heaven father i just thank you for this platform i thank you for this opportunity to, to, to just share the, the word of jesus christ your word father i ask you just to increase this platform and make it stronger make it better make it grow uh, father father and i don't want to do anything not by your power not by your might and not by your will father because without you father i'm insequential i'm nothing father so, Father, we just ask you to have your way unto today, Father. Father, we just ask you just to continue to send your grace and mercy upon us to cover us, Father, and see us through, Father. Father, there's so many wicked things and so many things that's going on in the earth right now, Father. And if it's ever a time for us to draw closer to you, Father, if it's ever a time for us to be in your will and your way, it's right now, Father. So, Father, I you just cover all your people right now, Father. Because we don't know what tomorrow promised, Father. But, Father, we know, Father, if we put you, our hands in your hands, you will see us through, Father. Because you know what tomorrow is going to bring. You know the outcome. You know the future. And, Father, I know that if we trust in you, Father, we're on the winning side. Father, in these are many blessings I explain your darkness in Jesus' name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. And we say amen and thank God. Okay, so today's message, today's lesson is coming from the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, verse 8. Again, it's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. And it reads as follows. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Using as a thought, by grace I'm free. By grace I am free. So, um... Today, all over the United States, we are celebrating 4th of July, also known as Independence Day. This is the day that the Declaration of Independence was um, was written, and the Founding Fathers signed it, and, the, and we declared our, our, our independence from Great Britain, England, uh, and different things like that. And I'm just a type of person where... I'm not really enthusiastic about this holiday because we as a people, during the time when this nation was declaring their independence from, from tyranny, from from London, from England, Great Britain, we were still slaves. So I just want, I just want, I just want to reiterate that. So I'm not. I used to be hype about this holiday when I was a kid, but now that I'm older and now I have a better understanding of the holiday and what's going on I'm not so enthusiastic about it I'm happy about being off of work I said thank you for that like I don't have to go to work so that's the only thing that's the only thing I like about it but other than that um I truly thank God for freedom in him um so that's that's what we're gonna celebrate today we're gonna celebrate our liberation from the enemy, from sin. Even though we, we sin every day and we're not exempt from sinning, but it's because of God's grace and mercy that we have a fighting chance. So I'm thankful for God's grace. So grace means the free and unmerited favor of God as manifested in salvation of sinners and bestowal of blessings. Mercy compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. So, it's by grace and it's by our faith that we have in God, that we have liberty, that we have freedom. Because again, um, before we knew God, we we were out there sinning, doing all kind of stuff with, with no repercussions, no, no, no knowledge of what damage we, we do. Because remember, in um, the book of Romans, it talks about, for the wages of sin is death. The gift of God, which is his mercy, his grace and mercy, is eternal life. So, 
we, if we keep on sinning and keep on doing things, it, sin is going to collect its wages. And eventually, we just keep sinning and sinning and don't repent and don't and don't ask God for forgiveness and everything like that. It's literally going to kill us or, or, or cause our demise. So that's why it's because of God's grace that we're saved by our faith. Because we have to believe. We have to believe in his son, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus, the word says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can go to the Father but through him. So we have to have faith in, in his son. And once we believe in his son, grace and mercy shall fall upon us. So I'm just I'm just thankful and praising God. So t- t- today is a day to celebrate. Aren't you glad that you have a risen Savior that loves you so much that he is here to deliver you and free you from yourself or from your sinful nature? And not only is he willing to do that, but he has bestowed upon us the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit that gives us power, that, that teaches us things and, and, and guides us and, and, and keeps us from safety. Because I'm telling you, it's nothing but God's grace and mercy. It's by his grace and it's by his mercy that we're all here today. It's because of grace. See, we were still living under the old law in the Old Testament. None of us would be here because there were certain things that if you did back in, in the Old Testament, before 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 Christ, there were certain things that you did. You would get you would get killed. You would get stoned. You would get your hand cut off. You would be blinded. There is so many things. Like if you, for example, if you stole something, cut your hands off for stealing. So I'm telling y'all, it's by His grace and His mercy. It's sufficient. It's enough for me. And I'm just here to tell you to let's celebrate. By His grace, you have been redeemed. You are free. So, again, grace is defined as a continuous goodwill, meaning it's not asked nor deserved, but it's freely given. So we have such a generous God that he would bestow his grace upon all flesh, anyone that wants to receive it. And then it's because of his grace, it covers us, it keeps us. Even though we we sin, because we, we're going to sin daily. That's why we got to constantly what? Deny this flesh and we got to repent daily. But it's because of his grace and his mercy that's sufficient for thee that covers it all. So I'm just thankful for grace. I'm just thankful for his mercy. And it's just befitting, for the, especially for this day, since it's Independence Day. I declare and decree my independence in God. Because again, like I said, I'm in a nation where back then when independence was being drawn out and, and, and things of that nature, we as a people, we weren't free. But whom the sun sets free is free indeed. So as Christians, we can celebrate our independence from the enemy each and every day. Every day is our independence day in Christ. Because by his grace, I am free I am free to worship. I am free to do all the things that God has bestowed for me to do. So I'm free. So ask yourself, are you free today? If you are a believer, if you believe that Jesus is the son of God and that uh, and you have the faith and not doubt, you're free too. So embrace your freeness in God. So that's I just want to sh- I just want to share that with y'all today that by again by for by grace you have been saved you are saved because of your faith and that not of ourselves it's not me it's not my doing it is a gift of God from God thank you God for the gift of your mercy thank you God for the gift of your grace thank you for grace so thank y'all for tuning into weekly manner from heaven God bless.